The celebration of the 70th birthday of former Nigerian businessman and investor Fula Diola continued uh, in Lagos. Arise correspondent Obadioye was there. It was a very colorful evening at the prestigious Metropolitan Club in Victoria Island, Lagos, as a group of Guarantee Trust Bank alumni joined by family members, friends, old schoolmates, and others hosted the Fit Foundation founder to a grand birthday party. Although Fola Adeola's birthday was officially commemorated two days earlier, those who have been influenced by his leadership style over the years decided to extend the celebrations. They believe that the man deserves much more. In the midst of the phone, the GTB alumni took time out to reminisce about their days as staff of the bank, which Fola Adeola founded. What do we connect with the alumni in Guarantee Trust that makes us continue to celebrate it? We connect with the notion that he made us believe that it's possible. He made us live a reality that was very different from the reality of every other Nigerian. And whether you're a disciple or you're an apostle and so on, that is the idea that has gone on into so many other institutions. And we bask in the glory of it, whether in public sector or private sector. That's the idea behind Faith Foundation and all the thousands of entrepreneurs that that institution has taught. That's the idea behind the fact that we had a basket case of a pension system. And today, we take for granted that our pension system is afforded like that of Chile. It's foresight and acumen, integrity, have set benchmarks in the industry, inspiring a generation of professionals. As a mentor, he has been a guiding star. His wisdom, patience, and commitment to nurturing talent have left an indelible mark on many of, of us here. He taught us not just the intricacies of finance, but the invaluable lessons of ethical leadership and the importance of community service. His journey is a testament to the enduring power of hard work, perseverance, and principled living. In every challenge, he saw an opportunity. In every setback, a lesson. His career is a chronicle of achievements, but more so, it is a story of a man who built lasting relationships. So there we were waiting for Mr. Deola, Baba Seguti, to address us, as if I can be teasing you now. <laughs> we are no longer afraid. So there we were, sitting in the room, and he comes in. He, he then tells us to introduce ourselves, and he says, we are not starting any job yet, and we are not promised a job. You could hear a pin drop in the room. We are not promised a job after leaving, who are not entry-level staff, by the way, who are coming from other institutions. I was the National Oil and Chemical Marketing Company. He said we are going to go through training. He needed to be sure that we would have, um, accept the culture, we would be aligned with the culture, we would understand what is required of us, and ultimately, we must score an average of 65%. Can you imagine? Some of us have never done banking or accounting in our life, but we are meant to actually sit in the classroom and go through it, including training in um, um, IT. But guess what? The truth is that that experience transformed some of us into bankers today, because I was never into banking. And then it was time for the Alaki of Egbaland Oba Adedo Tunaremo to celebrate the man for La Adeola. The Alake, who was represented by a team of high chiefs led by former Governor of Ogun State, Aremo Lushegun Oshoba, bestowed on Adeola the highly respected title of the Okonlomo of Egbaland. The title was last held by the late Chief Simeon Adebo, foremost administrator, lawyer, and diplomat who served as a United Nations Under Secretary General. For my family, it's our star. For the Egbas, it's our star. For Nigeria, it's our star. And the Alake of Egbas land has decided to confer on him the title of the star of the Egbas.
And that title is Oko Lomo. Oko Lomo. The shiny child. The shiny star of the all the girls. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. The event also witnessed the launch of a book written about Adeola, titled For La Adeola, One Man, Many Dimensions. The governors of Lagos and Ogun State were also present to honor the Syria entrepreneur. One elder state. I am proudly here as your governor. My head is swollen. You know? But I am first and foremost here as your bro. On behalf of uh, my family, the entire, I mean entirety of the people and government of Ogun State, we felicitate you on this your 70th birthday. And so I want to say to you today that Lagos is indeed proud of you. We're proud to call you a Lagosian, a son of the soil, one of our very best. <laughs> one of our very best. Not only in Lagos, not only in Yoruba land, not only in Nigeria, but in the whole of Africa. Popular singer and songwriter Tenny the Entertainer gave the audience a treat for the evening. But I want to let everybody here know that the person they were talking about is all too human as well. When you pinch me, it hurts. When you pour water on my dress, it gets wet. You know, there's no miracle here. I just try. And I try with people. Well, we say there's no parking. I don't park there. No. When we had a restaurant guarantee trust, only take eight people. And when you pop in and you find that there were eight people there, you turn back. So come back. We didn't have an MV restaurant. It was an act of conviction. It was not, it was not, um, we are not acting. There is authenticity about it. I wish you an authentic life because the alternative is not sustainable. Tajuddin Afolabi Adeola, a prominent Nigerian entrepreneur and investor, is the founder of Guarantee Trust Bank and the chairman of several companies. With a background in accounting and professional development training at prestigious institutions worldwide, Adeola established GT Bank in 1990 and served as its managing director until 2002. He led the bank's expansion beyond Nigeria to the Gambia, Tuvalu, Ghana, Liberia, and the United Kingdom until his voluntary retirement. Recognizing the importance of entrepreneurship, Adeola founded the Fit Foundation in the year 2000. This NGO supports young Nigerian entrepreneurs through training, mentoring, loans, and consulting. Adeola's philanthropic and business leadership contributions have been acknowledged with awards including the Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic and Banker of the Decade in 2009. Oba Adeoye, Rice News, Lagos. Happy birthday!